I always bring unreasonable number of books with me everywhere. Another hot one. Tell Me More has been on my want to read on Goodreads. I've always felt like I'm not a good listener and I wanted to be better. And the chapter called Tell Me More was good and helpful for that. But I just feel like whenever I see a book at Goodwill that I have on my list, I feel like that's the universe's way of telling me now is the time, Natalie. You should read this book. I just got this yesterday and I'm already on page 86. Probably also on page 86 of this because that's just how nonfiction goes. It's a little slower. The spirit catches you and you fall down. It's about these refugees that are getting medical care in the United States and it's so good. It's getting a little bright. I have a really, really long list of books that I want to read and there have been times when I'm like, if I read a book every week, I will finish all of the books on this list in five years. <laughs> so as you may know, I, I went on a, a big road trip um, in April and May. When I planned out the road trip, I wanted to use it as an opportunity to see as many things on my bucket list as possible. Also because I was trying to drop Sydney off in Richmond, I kind of had a deadline for the trip. As I drove through Arizona and got to know the saguaros, the San Francisco peaks, and the winding ways of I-17, I was heartbroken to not be able to spend a little longer in my new favorite state. I have always believed that living life to the fullest means squeezing as much into our short finite lives and i think that i was thinking about that wrong living life to the fullest isn't about filling your life with as many things as possible it's about fully experiencing everything you do i would rather never finish all the books on my tbr but learn the most from each one I do read, then rush through every single book on the list instead. <laughs> That's my foot. He's discovered my beats. Badly behaved. He's so cuddly though. Um, this is Hermes. <laughs> Aspiring vlogger. I'm making a birthday card. It is the princess's birthday. This princess. <laughs> this princess. day because it's not yet 7 a.m. Um, we're off to our hike and I'm trying to go hiking once a week. I talked in a previous video about how I like to go hiking and spend time outside um, but I don't do it enough so I just made it a part of my workout schedule because my workout schedule is literally the only thing that I can stick to. I was a little worried that it was gonna start to, you know, feel like a workout, but I haven't had that problem yet. So. nervous to go new places.
food appeared, and why. Good morning from Grand Teton National Park. I'm here with this like environmental group that I just joined. It rained last night a lot. I didn't sleep very well. I'm really hungry, so I'm gonna walk and try to find some food. I don't know if the food is open yet, but I didn't bring any food because I'm scared of bears. Pancakes won this time. I'll get them next time. It stopped raining while I was eating, and I turned around the corner walking out of the restaurant, and I saw this. I'm getting really emotional. I'm like so moved by this scenery. <laughs> oh. I wish I had someone to share this with. But also like it's so nice that I'm just out here and able to enjoy this. <laughs> and even if they're not from the Federal Reserve, if they're just like Joe Schmo who's here on vacation from uh, you know North Dakota with his I love oil and gas hat on. I gotta bring my mom here. Looking out here, drinking this like absolutely bomb milkshake. Oh, there's a really cute used bookstore. Um, maybe you won't buy anything, but I just like looking. Mm -hmm. 